I'm a huge fan of Negative Lab Pro, specifically um, their recent update, the version 3 and beyond, with role analysis. Um, and what role analysis does is you can basically you batch process an entire role um, at once, and it takes into consideration all of the images on the role to help get a more accurate white balance and exposure across the role and color settings and stuff. Because if you've ever used Negative Lab Pro, you know that, for example, um, beachy scenes can kind of screw things up because of the huge blue sky and the white ground, or maybe you're, um, maybe you photographed in a nightclub and the colors are like neons or non-standard. Um, when you do role analysis, you can actually sort of recover some of those without doing a lot of manipulation on the back end. However, sometimes it just doesn't do that great. <laughs> I still think it's always worth doing though, so, um, and I'll show you why. So these photos should be much better than they are, um, but they kind of suck. So what I do is um, when you run run a role analysis, like I did on the entire role, um, you still have the option to turn it off. So this first photo on the left is the one that's selected right now. And um, I can use role analysis or I can turn it off. And this actually gets me a lot closer to what I want on this one. And then just like you would normally do, you can sync that. And so if you wanted to just sync, you know, your role settings, you can across the three selected photos that we're doing, or you can do the whole thing, it's not really a big deal. Um, and already we're kind of like doing a little better. Now, I um, am going to kind of focus now and then edit this one like I would normally do. So, um, let's see, let's, this is still not right. Uh, <laughs> and again, with version three, we have these undo buttons, which we didn't have before, same with reset, and I think it makes a huge difference. Um, I'm going to turn my screen up. Okay, there we go. So I see a little bit of blue and this, this, all of the skin looks a little funky. So I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna, uh, yeah, oops. Okay, and let's, you know what, let's just reset the whole photo. So this is the reset photo for this image only. Um, this is roll analysis, reset with no adjustments. Okay. So I frequently find myself coming to Kodak Gold and then I move to Lab Standard. That just happens to be something that I like. It's absolutely not something you have to do. <laughs> um, and then depending on the image, sometimes I like to... Okay. Um, there's something weird about it, right? something really weird about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. What can we do? What can we do? This is just like looking really strange to me. And I'm not quite sure why. It shouldn't be such a strange photo. But this is kind of sometimes what happens with Negative Flat Pro is you just get like these strange kind of looks and you're like, oh, I do not like this. Um, and this is where it's like less great, you know? <laughs> and maybe you're like, man, I should have sent this to a lab, but I don't know. I'm still generally glad I didn't send everything always to a lab. Okay, so still something weird about it. Not that. Not that. Highlights are always like small adjustments make huge differences, so I use them pretty sparingly. Um. I think this one might be one where I kind of have to do some adjustments in uh, after it's exported to TIFF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync to Gall because I have those three 
Let's see, see. So this one clearly needs more yellow. It's also like way overexposed. Um, and you can copy. You don't just have to sync. Just a little bit better. It's still like not my favorite, my most favorite. Done, truthfully, but I mean, sometimes it is what it is. Um, okay, so I'm gonna apply. Something else you can do when you have like really wonky results, um, I'm gonna create virtual copies of these and I'm gonna reset them. Um, reset. Reset. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, check my white balance, my lens corrections, my transforms, and my crops from my originals just because it'll make my life simpler. Do, do. Okay. All right. And now what I do is I go in and sometimes cropping around a smaller subset of stuff can actually make a huge difference in the conversion. So here I'm going to do this one. I'm going to convert it like this. And what I like to do when I do this is I focus on the humans because that's the thing that like honestly is will set your eyes off the most, right? If the human is off, you're like, oh, that skin is weird. Everything is weird. Um, but you can do a lot if you get the human right. So. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what role analysis would look like on just these two photos. So let's go. So I have role analysis selected. We're going to convert. We're going to see if they're any better this time. Dang. I think that's better. Okay. So now what you do. I always turn off make copy. This is when I'm going to sync. Sync. So we can get sync. Okay. Yeah, so you see how just changing that crop and running roll analysis made a huge difference? This one, I think, let's see here. Oops. Um. Sometimes when you do this, you kind of, if you want to, like, look at something, like a frame, this is how I do it. Um, I think that's a better way balanced. Anyway. And then the last one. Oops. I was hoping it'd be an ice cream. Yeah, I think I like this one more. I like things generally more vibrant. Um, there's still something a little too... Maybe it's just saturated too much. Um, anyway, you can see pretty fast that it made a really big difference, <laughs> um, just changing the crop. And so that's a trick that I use pretty frequently um, when I am when I am having trouble with results. So first off, I always run batch. I always do the um, roll analysis, and then I consider turning roll analysis off on selected ones, and if it's still really weird, then I rerun it through Negative Lab Pro with a crop around the human or the subject or whatever, and it makes a big difference. I hope that helped you.